head of state visits America. At Washington National Airport, elaborate ceremonies herald the arrival of the President of the African Republic of Togo. His Excellency Silvanus Olympio, Chief Executive of the West African Nation, is greeted by President John F. Kennedy, members of the diplomatic corps, and American officials. So, Mr. President, uh, for your efforts to win uh, independence for your country, but even more for your efforts to build uh, a better life for your people and to play a progressive and liberal and responsible uh, position in the development of Africa, for your strong support for the United Nations, for all these reasons, Mr. President, you are most welcome to the United States of America. And in welcoming you, we extend a hand of friendship to your people. Thank you very much. I hope that my visit here will enable me to understand more fully the policies of the United uh, States, and at the same time, to contribute in a small measure uh, to explain to you the real aspiration of our country. Once more, Mr. President, I thank you most sincerely on behalf of my people and on behalf of the members of my delegation for the, well, for the very warm welcome which you have extended to us. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. The White House, residence of the American president, is one of the first stops for President Olympio and his party. They confer with President Kennedy, Acting Secretary of State George W. Ball, and G. Menon Williams, Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs. The Togo party includes their excellencies Dr. Andrea Kapko, Hospice Coco, and Pauline Fritas. Another important visit, the State Department, for talks with American officials, such as the administrator of the Agency for International Development, Fowler Hamilton. Before an evening reception at the State Department, an exhibition of Togo cultural and economic achievements is shared in the company of Angier Biddle Duke, American Chief of Protocol. reception is given by Acting Secretary and Mrs. Ball. Hundreds of hands to shake, new faces to remember. At Arlington Cemetery, a wreath is placed on the Tomb of the Unknowns, honoring those who have died in defense of their country. visit to the Capitol, seat of the legislative branch of the American government. The distinguished visitors take tea with members of Congress who are interested in the affairs of Africa, sharing information each learning more of the problems of the other and working towards their solution. A reception by the Togolese government attracts a large number of officials and other leading Americans. The Togo delegation greets old friends and new friends. Important meetings continue with the Honorable Per Jacobson, Chairman of the Board and Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, and with Mr. J. Burke Knapp, Vice President of the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. 
An early breakfast with Mr. R. Sergeant Shriver, director of the Peace Corps. It is time to leave Washington to visit other cities. At the airport, Vice President Lyndon Johnson bids farewell to the distinguished guest as he boards President Kennedy's aircraft for the flight to New York. Washington stretches below. Aboard the aircraft, quiet conversation with the Honorable Leon B. Pulata, American ambassador to Togo, before the excitement of New York. Ticker tape parade. This is an event which America's largest city reserves for its great heroes and its most distinguished visitors. Thousands line the route along Broadway. parade ends at City Hall, where Mayor Robert F. Wagner greets President Olympio. And points out some of the surrounding skyscrapers. The United Nations is familiar to President Olympio, for here he led his country to its place in the world body. In an office on the 38th floor, he is greeted by United Nations Acting Secretary General Wu Thant of Burma. <music> Honors at Fordham, a leading American university. The very Reverend Lawrence J. McGinley, President of the university, confers the degree of Doctor of Laws. At a New York hotel, residence of the visitors, there are meetings with representatives of many segments of American life. Members of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. The Honorable Nelson A. Rockefeller, Governor of the State of New York. Beneath a portrait of George Washington, America's first president, Togo's first president talks with Adlai Stevenson, American ambassador to the United Nations. In the last stages of the visit, across the state of New York to Niagara Falls to see some of the wonders of America. First stop, a man-made wonder, the tremendous Niagara Power Project. Here, the Togolese see how Canada and the United States have joined to harness the waters of the St. Lawrence River to produce millions of units of electric power. A climax to the visit, a look at one of America's natural wonders, Niagara Falls. President Olympio of the Togolese Republic has visited the United States. His journey has reaffirmed and strengthened the ties of warm friendship and mutual understanding between the two nations.